Hey guys, I'm going to be telling you about my worries personally about papaya plants, and um, then I will um, just give some, you know, examples of where I am and what's happening. So I don't want to give out my exact location, but where I live is not particularly warm. It's if you look on the Canada border, my state that I the state that I live in is along that Canada border. So from New York to Washington, I'm somewhere in between there. So I'm nowhere warm at all. Um, and uh, it's pretty cold, actually. It can get really, really cold. But I'm growing papaya, and you're probably thinking, how would you ever grow papaya in uh, in this weather? Well, um, I do it indoors, and I and I know specific ways on how to treat papaya. So um, once my papaya gets about uh, this big, which is, this is not my papaya, this is uh, bamboo actually, but once my papaya gets about this big, I'm going to have to replant it, which I'm really worried about. That's one of my worries is having it die. But also when it gets this big, I'm going to find out if it's male or female. And uh, that's kind of be scary for me because I definitely want a female so that I can have plants uh, like papaya. But I don't want, you know, I need a male and a female so that the male can pollinate the female. But I've also heard of uh, bisexual um, papaya plants. So... Hopefully I get one of those because I don't want to have to plant multiple ones. But uh, in here is my papaya plant. Um, I can't actually show it to you because if I did it would probably fall out. So uh, actually I'll just fall very slowly. There you go. Alright, so um, yeah, but I basically cut open a Fanta orange soda can and I have like a, this much room planted like five, seven seeds in there. <coughs> and um, uh, another one of my worries is that um, some of the other plants dominate some of the other ones. Uh, I mean, some of them have already begun to sprout, but um, uh, not above the uh, soil. When I, when I was first uh, getting them, I put them in water, just straight up water for like a, an entire night and watched them germinate. And when they got good enough, I just put them in there and uh, started watering it daily. And it's only been the first day, so I'm not really going to have anything in there. But um, yeah, so that's that's my only worry for uh, my papaya is that um, uh, is that it's not gonna grow or I'm gonna get a male papaya. So um, yeah, there's some there's some methods though that I'm also gonna share with you guys about uh, caring for papayas. Is that um, one you don't want to? Everybody says take off the arrow for planting. That's true, but some people let theirs dry out and then they go plant them. Well, I've never really seen that work, and I've also done some research online, and it also tells you that if you like for other plants like um, star fruit, it tells you that if you rip off the arrow in, within 24 hours, it's going to die. So um, yeah, I would not recommend ripping off the arrow. The arrow is the mucus outside of the seeds. Um, so yeah, that's just one tip. Another tip is that you must keep it moist at all times. So I like to um, keep a plastic bag over it. Uh, and when I pour water on it, it'll kind of evaporate and it'll make a, um, a tropical climate. So I don't know if you can see that bag over there, but in this bag right here, I have, um, I have some star fruit seeds. And um, see that it's it's so it's really humid in here like you can't see anything but that's because it's like a complete tropical climate in there and uh yeah so this is very um this is very nice for the plant because the plant what the plant does is it um I mean like these are already sprouting I took a dry one and I took the one that I put in here and this one sprouted a lot quicker than the other ones so uh Sorry about that. Um, my plant just uh, it. I set it down in orange soda from opening up this thing right here, my papaya. So uh, yeah. 
But anyways, um, I put a, I put a hole in the side of the papaya thing. Um, if you're new to gardening, of course you would always know that you have to put a hole for drainage and stuff like that. But you know, I don't want to keep it out too long, so I'm gonna go put the plastic bag over it again. Thanks for watching and peace.